All right, last day of February. Not a leap year this year. Just the 28th. So, with that, we'll go over the last of February sales. With uh, the 28th also being my technical birthday, the uh, leap year. So, but there's no leap year this year. So, 28th is what will count. And it's our and it's um, Tuesday. It was kind of busy yesterday. Didn't quite get around to doing this yesterday. Uh, so, we're going to start off with this uh, massive inventory pickup. Uh, 400 plus plus police patches at 500 bucks plus 14 shipping taxes and all that it came up to, uh, kind of on the high uh higher one of the higher uh, total purchases for me but uh when uh, I cost it 558.88 uh but there are so many of them it came out to a buck 27 a piece so uh, with this I got this in uh, the other day pretty much what I did with it is I went through shorted it all up by state uh, a lot there was quite a bit of Texas Ohio Florida Virginia some of the Pennsylvania there was a ton of absolute ton of and then there was a bunch of where I don't know it's not obvious what the state is those ones I lotted up uh, I made pretty much lots of nine that and share of uh, police and sheriff have put them all to auction and uh, I'm going to see what we see if I can uh, kind of just get my money back that way. Because this is quite a bit. $600 almost is quite a cash investment into a stock, into risky uh, inventory. As I did get the uh, notice uh, uh, listing takedown earlier as well. And I think that was my final warning before I would be, uh, get a three-day suspension afterwards. So, I was uh, that's kind of a lot of money to tie up an inventory that might get me suspended for a couple days. Um, I'm pretty sure that's why I'm pretty sure it was a warning because I looked, I was still getting sales, and I could still see my inventory. Uh, so I don't think I actually was suspended, it was just like the final warning before I got the three day suspension. So, next, um, so I was just gonna start with the small those uh lot there's 14 lots mostly of nine there's a couple smaller ones of that inventory see what money i can get out of that right away uh, and i will probably continue to do that is just look try and sell them all if it in lots uh and not actually piece them out uh but there's there's some i think i will piece out i'll do a little bit of piecing out but i would like to get rid of a lot of them at once especially when we're talking 400 plus patches all at once and I still have a ton of, I still have a stack of the New York ones from that last purchase. So I, it's not like I don't have inventory to list uh, on the other account. Um, moving on, so we have this uh, Amcus Rescue Systems patch. I had two of them. Sold them both actually at the same time, same buyer, six ninety nine a piece, which is good. Uh, next is the Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, International Association of Firefighting Local 669 is pretty much the IAF uh, chapter. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, eight ninety nine dollars and that sold right away, too. Uh, next is this Philly Engine 53, Ladder 27. Started at seven ninety nine. dollars only went up to ten fifty. dollars I could have just listed it at $9.99 and been done with it. Uh, it was one of two Philly patches that are not super common ones. Uh, that I put to auction, and only the one actually got uh, action on it. The other one I just relisted. Uh, next, New York City EMT. I got three of them. Sold to one, five ninety nine. dollars uh, This first rescue tool, Jaws of Life 50 Year Anniversary Patch. I got had two of them. Sold this one for nine ninety nine. The other one I think I sold last week, or maybe it was later again in this week. Uh, but I didn't, that did not take long to sell. Uh, Christ Medical Center, uh, EMS system sold out on offer 719. I got two of those as well. Uh, Seafair, Texas fire, 599 on that. Uh, Seaward, Alaska, 599 on that one. Uh, Dade County, Florida, not Miami Dade County, just Dade County, 699 on that one. 
Uh, this Belton, Missouri uh, emergency services sold out on offer 20% off 559 because this came out of the lot of 200. It was one of my early, uh, kind of like one of my first big lot lots that I bought in terms of quantity. Uh, and I've well made my money back on that. That that uh, was one of the better lots that I've ever bought. I still have quite a bit out of, still quite a bit uh, from that lot. I've always uh, thought about taking uh, that any time if I really need uh, to raise some cap, some cash that I could always uh, take all those listings down, put them up in a, on uh, you know, and a lot of them all up, put them in an auction, starting them at like a dollar a piece, and go from there, or even like as low as like eighty cents a piece, as I, the cost is uh, seventy cents a piece on those. So there's always money to be made on those. Uh, next is this uh, FDNY letter 105, sold out on offer 629. Uh, next is this uh, Shalage storeroom lock. There's a door handle, one of the three door handles that I found um, in the trash. This one I don't think was complete. I think it's missing something. Um, I just don't know what. Uh, but it's they're mostly there. There's three of them. One of them I'm pretty sure is definitely new Has it, and has everything in it. And then there was these other two that I'm pretty sure are missing some parts. So twenty five bucks uh plus ten bucks shipping is not uh bad for something that came out of the trash. And I still have the other two door door knobs. And this is actually still sitting downstairs. It sold what was it Saturday and I've yet to get it out to the post office because I haven't been able to do my scheduled pickup. Uh the two nights, last two nights when I've tried to do it, it's UPS website is not letting me do it. Now that I need to schedule a uh, pickup, I can always just I can always just put it out on the front porch, and my mailman will pick it up. Uh, but this morning, that's what woke me up was actually I heard the mail slot closing. Uh, in nor any any other normal day, if I was going to work, I would have been fine. Uh, but I slept in today, so. I didn't get up till noon, and he came at 11, it was 11.50, so any other day, that would have went out. Uh, next, Isle Palms Fire Rescue in South Carolina, seven ninety nine on that one. Uh, Atlantic City Fire, four ninety nine on that. Uh, the San Ramon Police, California, sold for six ninety nine. This also sold together with this uh, LA County... Uh, fire air attack for six ninety nine on that on that. Uh, sold same sold the same person on two separate transactions. Um, I hate when people do that. Just buy it on one order. There's no need to buy it on two separate ones. Uh, and the lot that this came out of is actually I've almost sold everything that was in it. I only got like three things left out of it. Uh, next is Rochester Township, Pennsylvania, uh, six ninety nine on that one. Uh, Pennsylvania Capitol Police, five ninety nine of that, uh, and I had three of them apparently. And I still have one left. I need to double check that to make sure that is true. Oh, what was interesting about this is this is I had sold one on the other account like a day or two before this one sold on this account. Uh, next, Morin Point, Michigan Fire, also out of the two hundred lot, four ninety nine of that one. Uh, Madisonville, Kentucky Police, eight ninety nine in that. And uh, next is uh, this Brutech twelve forty home energy monitor. I had two other ones that were definitely new in the box, and I've sold both of those off already. Uh, those sold, both of those sold for pretty good money. In comparison to this one, this one I put as used, even though I'm pretty sure it's new because the other two one other two were uh this one just wasn't in the packaging on so i just put it up for 40 uh 40 free ship and it's uh sold and actually didn't take too long january 21st is when i put it up so it didn't take that long uh which is good because these are uh kind of something that uh like with the other two it was kind of just not a lot of traction on it and then eventually they get someone will send me an offer on it this i'm pretty sure i didn't have best offer on so they had no choice 
Uh, like with the other two, I had a little bit of, there was a little bit of haggling that went on with it. This was nice. It was just straight, just buy it at 40 bucks and be done with it. Um, that's why I priced it down from the other ones. This it was not, I'm not entirely sure that it is new. So I priced it down a bit. Uh, and that's, I still have one of the power cables. I have that as well listed. I don't, that's something I don't know if we will ever sell. Or it's kind of just like with these, it's, uh, something that one day someone just, uh, comes along and needs. Uh, last thing for this account is Cook County Sheriff, uh, $5.99 on that one. And, uh, this, hopefully the buyer doesn't complain, because when I pulled it, it's kind of small. It's not, it's not really like a full shoulder size. It's a little on the small end. So hopefully that, uh, there's no complaints there. So, moving on to the other account. Uh, we got this Brighton, in, in uh, town of Brighton, over in, in Monroe County, five ninety nine dollars that. Uh, and this was out of a lot of New York stuff. Uh, and I already have one of these for myself, so I sold off that one. Uh, this town I'm not going to even try and pronounce in Rhode Island, four ninety nine dollars on that. Uh, this blank, New York State Fire Police. Sold out an offer for five thirty nine. Uh, Massachusetts State Police SRT put this to auction nine ninety nine. Uh, there was a bit of uh ones that I put to auction on this account, and this was the only one. At first, I thought none of them were gonna have any action on them. I was gonna have to relist them all as buy it now. Uh, but then I just I noticed the auctions had ended, and this one had some action on it at the very last minute. So it sold for twelve fifty. Uh, if it didn't sell, I probably would have done $9.99, $12.99, $14.99 on it. So, not a big deal. Uh, St. Petersburg, I got sold on an offer for $49. Uh, the, this, this is a pain. This one's a pain in my ass. This Maryland State Police K9. You've seen this before. The buyer didn't pay on that one. Uh, so I relisted it. And sent out offer again on this for $8.99. Buyer accepted. Never paid. So I canceled it again. It's now relisted for the third time, uh, and I'm never, I'm not sending out offers on this again because nobody has paid the last two times I did it. So, uh, and both of them, like I know this last one, he had 300 feedback, so there's no reason he should have never paid for it. And the other one I think had quite a bit too. They weren't like zero feedback accounts. So that was qu quite annoying. We'll try try this again. Uh, next, another K9 patch. NYPD K9 Subdued, $9.99 on that one. Uh, this U.S. Air Force Securities sold out on offer $719. Uh, this court, this Courtland, uh, in Westchester County, $9.99 on that one. Uh, New York State K9, $7.99 on that one. Uh, St. Mary's, Alaska, $6.99. Sarasota County, Florida Firearms Unit, sold out an offer seven nineteen. Uh, this DEA uh, Remembrance uh, twenty five year anniversary. I got four of them, sold one of them at six ninety nine. Uh, this town of Bethlehem, uh, New York and Albany County, twelve ninety nine. In this, this one's a bit of an odd one. I sold. It sold. What was it? Sunday. And then yesterday, the buyer messaged me on Monday uh, when I was sending this out, and he was thinking about canceling it. And I told him that I was going to send it out today, um, and if he still wanted to cancel, he said, no, that's fine. So hopefully there's not going to be a problem with this buyer of it magically not appearing when it uh, actually will end up showing up. Um, I don't like that. I'll probably end up block. I'll probably block him after this because there's... Uh, there's no reason to be sending me the day after, you know, when, wondering when I'm going to send it out and threatening to, like, almost threatening to cancel the order. Because I, it's not, like, being sent out instantly. So, hopefully this buyer doesn't cause many problems. But I may end up uh, blocking them just to, prefer, just to be sure. Uh, here's, like I was talking about, the other uh, PA Capital Police, 699 on that one. Uh, next, Winston-Salem, 
uh, police, five ninety nine on that one. Uh, Fire Protective Services sold out on offer six twenty nine, and this was another one that the buyer has not paid yet. And I'm not expecting them to pay at this point. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up canceling this order as well. Can you guys hear that cheek to the cheek to waga background? Hope you, can. you probably can't because it's not my headphones right up uh right next to the mic and it is quite loud uh hopefully you can't that doesn't drown out my audio uh next is la county sheriff's uh hat patch 4.99 on this one and the buyer sent uh put in a, bu a note of uh please send asap so but it is going from new york all the way to la so hopefully it's uh we'll get to them sometime this century. Uh, next, Montgomery County, Maryland Police, six ninety nine on that one. And then the last one is this Maplewood, New, uh, New Jersey, five ninety nine on that one. Uh, so that's it for everything that is sold this week. Uh, I will see if this Federal Protective Services sells. I'm or if the buyer doesn't end up paying. Pretty sure they won't. Uh, I'll double check. Uh, how long it's, I'll have to double check how long it's been, if I can cancel it, probably, I think tomorrow will be long enough to where I can just cancel it, and pretty much, and block the buyer, which is pretty much all the blocks on this account are people who haven't paid, there's only, I think, three blocks accounts, and I'm pretty sure all of them have not paid, or it's just because they haven't paid, so, uh, no hope that they will actually pay at this rate. So, other than that, that is it for this week, and I will see you next week.